Hey guys, <laughs> I am trying something different. So, you know, normally I do my haul videos and I'm standing. I have a lot of stuff. I thrifted a lot on um, Friday and Saturday and I just want to sit and make this casual. If you're new here, my name's Kimberly. I am in West Virginia and I am a part-time reseller. So I thrifted on Friday and Saturday, went Friday after work, was at Goodwill for about maybe two hours. And then I went back Saturday morning, right when they opened, cause it's 50% off day. And I had spotted a few things. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave those behind because I know they're gonna be 50% off tomorrow. And if they're here, then I'll grab them. So, and I'll, I'll let you know what those items were when I get to them. I have a pile of stuff here and a bag over here. Um, so that was Friday. Oh, and I stopped at a little, um, thrift store in my area. It's for like, um, the mission. It's like the mission thrift store. Um, and they just, uh, they have a lot of like, not good stuff for resale but then i usually find a couple gems and um so that'll be the first there's one item i'm going to show you that um, i'm super excited about um what else what else and then so saturday i went back to goodwill stayed there for two hours went home took a potty break went to another goodwill was not supposed to stay as long as i did but it started pouring rain so of course i couldn't leave in the rain so I stayed there for a couple of hours. I haven't done that kind of thrifting a long time. I was so tired when I got home. So I'm gonna give you a good thrift haul and it's just gonna be casual. And we're gonna see how am I doing with my rule that I'm not picking anything up, no matter how cute it is. Um, unless I'm pretty confident it can sell within a few months and I can get a minimum of $30. Uh, and then I owe you a couple what sold videos so we can kind of see how I'm doing with the items I'm picking up. So let's get to it. First item is this Peter Burrow. Uh, hi. Uh, step basket so you just put that on your stairs and collect whatever crap I guess you want to bring upstairs <laughs> I've never really understood that but people love these uh, as you can see it still has the tag has the branding there whoops uh, and this is I think what the 50, 150th anniversary edition this was a dollar. Yeah. And I will get a minimum. They go between 50 and $75. So I'll, I'll list it for $75.99 or best offer and go from there. But yeah, so great, great, great. Oh shoot. I meant to, um, count all my items and then get an average sale price. So I will do that when I'm editing the video and I'll put that up at the end, how many items total I have, because I did buy a few things for myself and then calculate um, an average uh, cost of goods. But you know, my cost of goods is usually around $4. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll see. Okay, uh, this, um, so green and red tags were half off, um, but on Friday, okay, so Friday I didn't buy any red tags because I knew Saturday the red tag was going half off. And I have my Invisalign in, so hopefully I'm not talking too funny. This is, now this brand is not um, anything that I would actively like search out. But it's Ellen Tracy, which is a nice brand, like sold like at Macy's or probably find it at TJ Maxx too. 
Um, and this is just a little faux fur vest with like an elastic like waist. Um, it looks brand new, like nobody's ever worn it. It has like the little like drawstring in the waist. It zips up. The zipper is very substantial, very nice. Has Ellen Tracy on the zipper. So very nice lined. I mean, it's has some good weight to it. It's high quality. Uh, it has pockets, super cute. Obviously not the season for it, but I'm gonna list it. It's a size medium um, and it was $4. So I haven't comped this, but just a guess, I'll list it for $40 or best offer. And that will definitely meet my $30 goal. So, so far, so good. We have got the basket. We've got that. I need to, um, I need to vacuum. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make a pile over here. Okay, next, I'm just grabbing stuff. Next, how cute are these? They're not my size. They're size six. So cute. Zip up, vintage, really nice um, leather and tailor boots. These are just so cute. Um, those will definitely meet my $30 um, sale price, average sale price. Um, they zip up. Yeah, just basic, super cute, kind of a stacked heel. The heel isn't too high. Um, leather sole very nice condition these were half off so they were 450. definitely we'll list these for probably 40 dollars. same thing 40 dollars or best offer won't take less than 30 and i'm sure i won't have any problem getting 30 dollars for those all right these are a pair of Ariat jeans there's the tag there's some branding these are a women's doo -doo 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 -doo, 31 long so good size um, yeah these are like a boot cut ah. and let's see if they have a style name area It doesn't look like it. So I'll just, um, and they're, they're a low rise. So yeah, these will definitely go for, um, 40 to 50. I have to comp these. Um, but yeah, 40 to $50 all day long. No problem. So that was a great find. This is cute. Look at these. They're hair they're just little like dishes um they're crate and barrel they were two dollars i don't know these aren't gonna meet my 30 dollar price they were so cute though shoot all right we got one item that is not gonna sell for my 30 dollars all right Oh, and we have another one, <laughs> but I couldn't pass it up. So cute. This was $2.50 because it was five but half off. But look how cute. <laughs> Forget the glass slippers. This princess wears boots. Yeah, I might try and sell that locally on Facebook Marketplace. For like ten dollars it has the um hobby lobby sticker and it was 17.99 at hobby lobby so yeah there's um no it's fine yeah i don't know it was just so cute okay so that's two items <laughs> um oh my gosh you guys have so much stuff to get through okay this is a really cool blazer it's a longer length um, are these sleeves supposed to be rolled or did somebody do that? 
yeah somebody did that but it has three buttons it's vintage um it's like a wool blend super nice like kind of boyfriend style blazer and these are this look um is trending right now made in usa jones new york size six it's in pristine condition i mean look at the lining and everything it's just it's pristine super cute i might have to try this on this would be so cute with like jeans and some heels with just like a plain um little tank like um or bodysuit like form fitting it's um oh wow wow 98 percent wool worsted wool four percent spandex i definitely cannot wear this in west virginia in the summer it's so humid here um i will list it and um yeah i'm gonna list that for 50 or best offer and that will definitely go for for 30. this was a style base it's just lands end but it's vintage it's made in USA, and this is on trend as well. Kind of this um, either quarter zip or the quarter like button up, like popover sweaters like this. And it's um, a really pretty like neutral color. I think it's size medium. Made in USA. It's a women's. 100% cotton. And this was $250. Just super cute. And I can get $30 for that maybe 25 but it'll sell this I think this is something that I thought maybe um for me so it's just American Eagle um size small just little like sundress strappy but I like stuff like this here in West Virginia, like I said, it's so humid. So like stuff like this, even just to wear around the house. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna probably keep that, put a different pile for my stuff. Oh, this is something else I got for myself. I'm gonna move this up here so I don't have to keep reaching back. Yeah, okay. This is just um, universal thread, extra small. I just, I like the cut of this and it's flattering on me and just the crew neck. And I liked the color. <clears throat> Again, just something to throw on, like to go walk the dogs or whatever. So that's for me. And it was $250 or yeah, $250. Oh, this is cute. I like this. I may have to try this on too. <laughs> it's just H&M, size small. Um, it's like that 90s kind of knit. It's like super stretchy, slinky, um, but kind of like a thicker knit um, top. And I think the sleeves kind of look almost wrist length or like above the wrist. A little bit more than three quarter um, but that kind of square neckline I just love it I'll try it on um, if not I'll sell it it was only two dollars and it's in pristine condition um, and I like this detail I think it'll be flattering on that detail it's like that kind of kind of like mustardy color like a goldish mustard um this is just j crew factory because it has the two little dots i hope you can see that but it was only 250 and it's a zip up midi length pleated skirt let's see that. let me see see how it's pleated and it's like a fuchsia pink, size six. I thought it was super cute. Lined. I don't know if I can get 30, 
but I know I can get at least 20 or 25. So, and I think it'll sell. These bright colors are in right now. So like this with just like a super simple um, tank top and some cute like strappy heels. Um, that'll be cute. Okay, oh, this was more of that uh, stretchy knit, like kind of thicker, like almost like 90s style, and it's it's h and m too. And it's a medium, and it's just a black dress. Very simple. Does this have the square? Yeah, it's that same as that sweater. Kind of that square neckline very 90s minimalist i'll use all of those keywords um yeah super cute and this was 50 percent off so it was 350 and i'll get at least 25 for that so not quite 30 but close i figured it's so on trend that it'll sell quickly so this i probably won't get 30 dollars. i have to do a comp it's not really the brand is no big deal it's that japna um but it's a large and i'll show you the top hold on there's um super cute it has all that smocking see how cute that is and the sleeves are like sheer. Oh, my hair. Um, let me show you the sleeves. Very cute, right? Smocking size large. I mean, it's kind of like a junior's large. Um, but yeah. And it was on sale, so it was two fifty. I will get at least $20 for that, but I'll look it up. It could go for a little more, but I'll definitely get at least 20 and I think it'll sell quickly. So I wasn't, um, too, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. It's not 30, but now this, I will get at least 30. Is this, okay. This is Rayon. Susan Bristol. The brand doesn't matter. It's vintage size eight but wait till i show you the pattern horses horses plus the plaid it's kind of like that black watch plaid look at that it's pleated oh my gosh this is definitely gonna go for my 30 dollars does it have pockets yeah and it has pockets people love that yeah, this was $5, and I'm going to list this probably pretty high, like $59.99 or best offer. I will definitely get at least $30 for this. People love that, like equestrian, um, anything equestrian, really. Yeah, I mean, because if that was Ralph Lauren, that would be, depending on which label, I mean, a few hundred dollars. Okay, this is another item that I won't get $30, but it was new with tags. $39.50 was the price. It's lacy, see-through, like mesh with an attached little tank. It's who was it? Was it Aeropostale? Aeropostale. It's vintage Aeropostale made in Vietnam. So this is very 90s Y2K. Um, that's why I bought it. And it was new with tags. Uh, so this I will definitely get 20 to 25 and it'll sell fast. And I paid $6. Belts, you guys know I love my belts. It says Chico's. Chico's belts do well. So it's got that cool, like, large, like, it's kind of like a statement piece. Um, what size? There's the Chico's. It was $3. It's in perfect condition. 
I'm looking for the size medium large and I'll measure it um, yeah I will definitely get at least 25 for that all right I think these were for me yeah loft the satin skinny these are just a pair of just trousers work pants so I'm gonna try those on I paid six dollars and I figured if they if I don't like them I usually to work wear the just the old navy pixie and these were very similar so I'm gonna try these on they're navy blue and I needed a new pair of navy um, pants if they don't fit or I don't like the way they fit then I'll just sell them and I'm sure I'll get at least twenty dollars this let's see this is new with tags $32.85 double zero is the brand I don't think it's anything it's a juniors and it's a medium and it's just a cropped t-shirt kind of um not tie-dye but what do you call that fabric it's just kind of has that distress look it's like that gray and kind of like that washed sun wash I don't know but it was only three dollars and I thought I'm going to try it on something just again just to throw on um but I might sell it we'll see if I sell it I'm sure I'll get like 15 or 20 dollars okay this is one world xl and it was this half off no I think I paid full price five dollars but the reason I bought it, it was a larger size and look at this someone's gonna love that look at the black kitty cat with the witch's hat with like this peplum bottom um oh it's like a drop waist yeah yeah this is in pristine condition with this all over print it has like a spider and yeah <laughs> someone's gonna love that so cute for like winter time i mean winter time the heck halloween so that i will definitely get 30 dollars these i bought just to kind of test this out so um these corduroy like old school like vintage pants these are men size 32 ll bean with like the pleating so I just sold a pair of women's corduroy vintage pants Liz Claiborne so I'm going to try these men's um they're a great color they're in pristine condition um yeah we'll see I'll report back but I'll list these probably for $40 or best offer I think the the Liz Claiborne that I just sold, I think they sold on Poshmark for like 23 or 24. So we'll see. Okay, these are Old Navy, new with tags. I don't, oh, this is funny. It says two piece set. I don't know what that's about. These were only $4. They are Old Navy, 34, 34, and they just say straight, built in tough. So I'll look these up. They're men's, they're gray, just like kind of straight leg, just not skinny and not boot cut. Um, kind of a thin material, so good for summer. Um, so I don't know what those will go for, but I imagine I shouldn't have a problem selling them. I mean, they're brand new with tags. And then I got them like in a khaki, like tan color too. $4 each. Oh, what does this say? Oh, well, I'm going to have to take that off. There's like a sales sticker. <coughs> Let me take that off. It says $15.97. <laughs> All right. That peeled off super easy. Yeah. So here they are in tan 
So I imagine I should be able to get 20 each for those. And like I said, I paid, um, what did I say I paid? Five dollars? Yeah, I know, four dollars, three ninety nine. So, um, four and the 20, I mean, not great, but maybe actually what I could do is a lot them up. That's what I'll do. I'll lot them up and I'll sell them for $34.99. So $8 into $34.99, not a great profit margin, but I think they'll sell pretty quickly. Um, that, like I said, they're lightweight. They're not like a heavy denim. All right, let's see, what else? What else did we get? A pair of 501s waist size. These are $29.30. Let's see. Um, where were they made? Egypt. Um, button fly. 501s. 501s always sell. Um, yeah, not much to say. I don't know how much these go for. I haven't looked these up in a long time. They're not vintage or anything. I mean, made in Egypt, I don't know. You always have to put where they were made because people search out like different, obviously the made in USA are great, but people search out like maybe they, <clears throat> excuse me, they found a pair that fit really well and like these, they were made in Egypt. So, okay, I want those same exact pair that were, you know, made in Egypt. So you always have to list where they were made. Oh, these were good. These are Adidas and these were five bucks. They're white canvas <clears throat> platform sneakers. And, <clears throat> excuse me, these are Nizza, N-I-Z-Z-A. I don't know what that is, but I looked them up and I think these go for like 50 bucks. So yeah. And they're in good condition considering they're white sneakers. Looks like somebody wore them like one time and maybe they just didn't fit them right or something. So I got those. All right. This, these few items were from that little thrift store. Did I just spit? <laughs> All right. These were good. These were a dollar and these are American Eagle size 36 men's shorts next level flex which are good um they're like a kind of like a khaki color with some distressing very cute very cute there's the back very good condition no stains no nothing and there's your tag there and there's the inside um these are newer um, because they don't say outfitters and they have kind of like that raw hem. Yeah, really good. So I think I'll definitely get my 30. So we're good there. All right. Ooh, I got to look these up. Yes, I forgot. <laughs> these are Wrangler, the fire resistant um, pants. I don't know how much they go for, but I know I'll get at least 30. Um, or flame resistant, <laughs> fire resistant. There they are. And these are a size. Where's the, oh. These are 38, 32. So good size. There's the front. There's the back. I don't know what these go for, but I know they sell. They sell very well. Um, there's that. So... Um, yeah, these are great and there's no flaws or anything. Um, any brand flame resistant pants sell well. And I, I don't know what those go for, but I know they're going to go for more than 30. So yeah, that was good. This, let's see, this is Tahari size large, hundred percent linen. I don't know if I'll get 30. I'll have to, I got to comp that. Um, but I just, no flaws, very good condition, just pop over blouse, uh, V-neck, it buttons, uh, actually it's not pop over, I'm sorry, it buttons all the way down, but it's V-neck, 
really pretty um, floral pattern. Yeah, so I'll definitely get at least 20 or 25. And again, it was a dollar. <laughs> so, and then I got this. What is this? Mark New York. This is nothing. I think I think I needed a certain number of items or I don't know why I got that. One, two, three. Yeah, because it was like. I don't know, whatever. It's just a little key ring um, thingy for your, like your ID. So I'll throw that up for like 10 bucks or something. But everything was a dollar. So, all right. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're almost done. Kinda. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try and go fast. I'm trying to tell you why I pick things up too. I gotta remember to do that. If you have any questions just pop in a comment below um don't forget to like my video and all that good stuff okay this is a size xl new with tags it was 109 um on the tag i paid four or no five dollars it's a wrap dress women's xl um short sleeve it's vintage like 90s wrap dress i'm not gonna wrap it i mean you guys know it's a real wrap dress knee length um interesting pattern um that's about it and i'm gonna try and get 30 dollars for that where was it made Made in Korea. I think that's why I was like, oh, this has to be vintage. When you see like Korea, um, Taiwan, it's like 80s, 90s. So yeah, we'll see how I do on that. Oh, I was sitting on my <laughs> knees. <laughs> okay. This is another vintage dress. This was Rue 21. No big deal, right? That little junior store. I don't know if it's still around. Made in USA, but it's a leopard print. Um, and it's an extra large. So junior's extra large. It's a very thin material, so you could wear this. It's almost sheer, honestly. Um, yeah, but it's like a leopard print, like brown and gold. Really cute just simple little dress it's very cute um made in usa people like that and this was 50 percent off so it was 350 and i will definitely get my 30 for that this i put back i grabbed it i put it back i grabbed it um it's a halter neck dress lined and it's new with tags. It's just that intro brand, size small. It's just like that. You can find this at like TJ Maxx. Um, you know, not everyone across the country lives close to a TJ Maxx or even a Target. Um, some people will say things like that, like, oh my gosh, that's just from Target. Well, yeah, some people literally literally live three hours from a Target. Um, and certain things aren't always available online. So don't necessarily shy away from certain brands just because like this. Like you could probably find this at TJ Maxx all day long in Orange County, California, but a lot of people don't even have a TJ Maxx. They've never even been to a TJ Maxx. It's just a little um, shift dress or swing dress. Um, what's the other word I'm trying to think that describes this dress? But I loved that print. Um, not sure what I'll get for this. I'll list it for 30 and I'll probably get 25. But it was only 350. So kind of went against my rule on that one <laughs> this is a pantsuit this is what brand I think it was like an XL or something um where's 
the tag. This is just Mac Studio. Again, not a brand that I search out, but it was extra large, new with tags, $128. So there's Mac Studio. And there's, oops, there's the, the tag. Okay, and it's um, like a tank style v-neck um, pantsuit with pockets and it's like a wide leg and it has the waist tie so I mean it has a lot going for it it was seven dollars I will definitely get at least 30 for that I'm going to list that for 60 or best offer okay here <laughs> These are what made me go back to Goodwill on Saturday because I knew these would be 50% off. They're just the Gap, okay, size small, new with tags, okay? What does that say? $54.95, long line cardigan sweaters with pockets. People love cardigans. People love long line cardigans. These are new with tags. I got three of them. So they were $5 each. This is kind of like a, like a, what color? Like almost like jade green, but no, not jade. Kind of like a mossy green. And then, and then I got a tan. They're all new with tags, all size small. $54.95. I'm going to try these on because I love wearing cardigans at work. I get cold easy. So in the summertime when the air is on, I just, I close my vent in my office because <laughs> it just gets too cold. And then gray. Um, So I don't know if I'll keep any of these. I've got to look at my cardigans and see what I have. Um, but these are great. Um, I will definitely get at least 25 if not 30 I mean they were 54.95 so and I think they'll sell quickly people love cardigans I got this belt so cute this vintage belt was three dollars it's like that rope style and you just how does it wait how does this go again yeah, it's like, a, it says it's a medium and it has like the Velcro, which you can't use Velcro in your keywords on eBay. You'll get Vero. Um, so you ho use hook and loop. So yeah, this is a great belt. I'll get 30 for that. This is Michael Kors, size small. I normally don't buy Michael Kors. I will in larger sizes. It does well for me in larger sizes. This is a navy blue dress, but it was half off, $350. I don't know that I can get $30 for this, but it's in pristine condition. It kind of just has nautical vibes with the navy blue and the gold. And so I thought for sure that it would sell and it would sell quickly. Um, kind of, I'll use the word nautical, keywords nautical, preppy, um, stretchy, slinky. Um, yeah, and so I'll definitely get at least 25. I'll have to comp that and see what they are going for. Um, okay, we got that. All right, last bag. Okay, I think I've done pretty good. All right, this was on sale for $2.50. These little jackets usually do well. I mean, it's not jacket season, but super cute. I'll get at least 20 or 25. It's just Kenzie. Um, yeah, that Sherpa line collar. Um, and then like along the, where the buttons are. So yeah, size small. Um, here's that, um, plaid that I like. Is this the black watch? I think so. Um, just Talbot size six blazer. These do well. Um, 
they do better. Well, this one's lighter weight, so somebody might wear this in the spring and summer. I don't know, but it was on sale, so it was $3.50, and I'll get $30 for that. Minimum $25, but I'll shoot for $30. These are vintage L... Oh, no, these are American Eagle. Um, these are the vintage Flare. They were half off, so they were $3.50. Um, so these flare, raw hem, a little distressing, you know, this is all the rage right now. There's that. They're in very good condition. They're a lower waist and they are size four. So I'll get at least 25. These are vans and they're in very good condition. They were $6. I'm not sure what they go for. I have to comp these. They're gray, and I think they're men's nine and a half. If they don't go for that much, I might just give them to my nephew. I think he wears a nine and a half. I have to check with him. But these are a great, great buy. These are Old Navy. They are a 36, 32, original, loose fit, built in flex. They are in pristine condition. They have distressing. They're kind of like a boot cut almost. Not almost. They are a boot cut with like distressing. Again, they're in pristine condition. I will definitely get at least 25 or 30 for those. This is a vintage Y2K top made in usa this is the brand a buyer you can see there medium made in usa halter top floral and it has like the ruche sides um kind of backless uh, so i'll list that for 30 but I'll probably only get 25 for it but I think it'll sell pretty quickly last item I'm like rushing this is just a brown suede or tan suede like a camel color belt it was three dollars it's in very good condition it's just loft made in Cambodia um genuine leather size small and yeah I may take a look at my belts and see what belts I need. I don't wear belts a lot, but I know that I do need some new belts for, for work. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. All right. Bye.